I bought all these threaded inserts a couple of years ago and they've been rattling around in a box in the garage for a long time, but we'll get back to those. I also have these blocks of wood and they're kind of dirty and they need to be cleaned up. This is how you shouldn't use a table saw. And here's a sander and I'm sanding some things, these blocks of wood. Anyway, so I've had these blocks of wood rattling around in a box for, I don't know, a year or so, and I've moved them twice. Several years ago, when my kids were younger, I had this idea to make these tinker toys, these busy boards, these I, whatever you want to call them. It's a board with different nuts and bolts in it and some tools, and you use the tools to turn the nuts and bolts, and, you know, it's just something to keep their minds active so they don't grow up to have a brain that doesn't function like like mine does not function sometimes. Anyway, so I had these chunks of wood and I bought all these inserts and they've been sitting around because I just never actually finished this project. And they probably would have sat there for uh, years, except that we were going to visit some family. There were some nieces and nephews having birthdays. My wife said, hey, you should make one of those things that you were going to make for our kids that you never made. Now I had to come up with some sort of layout for this. Basically, you drill some holes and you put the threaded inserts in the block of wood, and then you make some sort of tray portion where your tools will go, and and it's, you know, it's not super complicated. I used some blue masking tape to mark out the edges of the, where I was using the router. Masking tape is nice because it's easy to see and if you hit the tape with the router bit then you have cut too far. Uh, this is actually the second box. The first one I did not use tape I just sort of tried to freehand it and it, it turned out a little rough. Some of the edges aren't really straight but Anyway, we could have taken the time to make up a template to route these out so I wouldn't have had to just eyeball it and not hit the tape. And I also did not have the right router bits to be doing this. I was just trying to cut these with a flush trim bit. It was not the right way to do this, but it kind of worked. Uh, and I don't really have a lot of uh, good video to show you of me doing this because uh, most of the video that I took is just uh, close-ups of my hand. I'll skip over that. The tape helped keep the lines a little cleaner. So I'll peel that tape off. And then I used the roundover bit on the trim router to just round over all of the edges on these things. Since these are in theory for kids to play with, uh, I just thought, you know, getting rid of all these sharp edges would be nice. Nice little half inch round over. I think it's a half inch, it, it's something. Anyway, it's pretty round. After they were rounded over, I used a some sanding discs on the Dremel to sand and smooth out the inside. Actually used the little stop on the side of the drill press. Uh, for the first time, I, I never actually used that. Drilled just deep enough for the inserts. Uh, actually just a little deeper. And then I drilled holes for all of the inserts. And mostly that went fine. It was, just, it was just drilling holes. It's not that hard to drill holes. I had one spot where the wood kind of chipped and then I super glued it back together. After the holes were drilled, uh, I used a smaller bit to drill a little bit deeper so that the bolts have room to go past the bottom of the threaded inserts. And then I sanded it. And I sanded uh, a lot. Just sand these all down. A little sanding, sanding. Some more sanding. Uh, you know how sanding goes. Sanding is, is it just, it takes a while. You just gotta do it. Uh, then I put the inserts in. And I wasn't sure how to put them in. I used a dead blow mallet because I didn't want to smash them up. A little hesitantly at first. Kind of checking, just seeing how it was going in. I wasn't sure if I was going to need to glue these in. Uh, turns out I did not. They fit 
plenty snug into those holes. I, I pounded all these in at about 12.30 at night. Uh, so no one in my house woke up. Uh, and so I, I hope the neighbors also did not wake up. All of the inserts were put in. Then I put some finish on because these are something that kids are going to play with. I just used butcher block conditioner. I like using a butcher block conditioner or some sort of food safe finish like this. It's very easy to use and it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't have to set up. Uh, you just put it on and wipe it down. If you want to use that tray to hold chicken nuggets instead of nuts and bolts, you can do that because it's, it'll be perfectly fine. And I let them set and then wiped them down. Just got any little bits off of the outside, any excess oil. Once that was done, I put the bolts in and there's the finished product. Now, I was giving these to some children as gifts, but obviously these aren't toys. These don't let your kid play with nuts and bolts and screwdrivers without supervision. So there's those threaded inserts that I bought several years ago for my kids to make them these exact tinker toys or trays or, or whatever you call these. Um, and my kids helped me make them and then we gave them away to some nieces and nephews. I hope that they will enjoy them. You know, maybe they'll just use it for a snack tray. I don't know, it's a pretty hefty block of wood. You could use it for a doorstop. It'd work really well for that. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you next time.